Fantasy Philosophers is brought to you by Fantasy-Info.com. Make no mistake about it, Reggie Wayne is still Peyton Manning's top target in the Colts offense. But sooner or later, his production is going to start waning as he is getting older in years. But I think even more so than just the age, as he's you know probably still good enough to be a quality player for your team and, and obviously for their team. The big problem that I see right now with the Colts is that they have a lot of talent out there right now. Now you've got Pierre Garçon, Austin Colley. They're coming into their second season now with a full year under their belt of playing and being active with Peyton. Not only do you have them, you obviously you have Dallas Clark as a tight end, but you also have a guy that you know many people may forget about because he wasn't out there last year, but he was still a, a talented player, a guy that was projected to be, you know, a fantasy, a nice fantasy sleeper coming into his third season last season, uh, and a former first-round pick, and that's Anthony Gonzalez, the former Ohio State receiver. He is also coming back. Remember, he had that knee injury in week one. He went down, and then, you know, that opened the door for Austin Colley and Pierre Garçon. So, you know, now we've got five really nice targets. They also like to throw the ball underneath to Joseph Adai and Donald Brown. It's a lot of passing targets out there with Reggie Wayne. I just think his numbers, while they'll still be, you know, they'll still be good for any receiver. It's going to wane. I would not, you know, be, don't be surprised if he's maybe just barely around a thousand yards receiving, maybe six, seven touchdowns this season. I wouldn't be that surprised if that might take place. Right now, you know, Reggie is definitely still a top ten fantasy receiver. But at the same time, you know, it's something to consider between him and maybe some other guys that you're looking at, um, you know, as far as who you're going to take with one of your marquee receivers that you're going to put on your team. I mean, with Wayne, you're probably talking about, you know, definitely if you're in a 10, 12 team league, you're talking about a guy that's easily going to be your number one receiver probably for your team. This is something to consider. You know, right now we are seeing a lot of spread offenses. I believe, you know, that's why we've graded Greg Jennings down as far as, you know, I think we've still got him in the top 15 receivers this year, but we do not have him in the top 10. I know there's a lot of people out there, as far as his case, they're saying, well, you know, he's been a good touchdown maker. He's going to bounce back from his four, you know, put it in the bag, but I'm not so sure. And I think a lot of that has to do with the spread offense, but not just the spread offense with a quarterback that can hit multiple receivers and a tight end. It's, you know, look at the talent that's around that player. So, you know, right now, a lot of talent out there in Indianapolis. And call it Peyton Manning, he's going to find a lot of those players and spread the ball out. So keep that in mind. For more fantasy football information, go to fantasy-info.com and sign up for our free e-newsletter. Good luck in your 2010 fantasy football league. As an added bonus, the Fantasy Info guys will include their five secret tips for success in fantasy football.